hello everyone hope you all are doing good and in this video we are going to discuss uh, how as an sdet and a qa you can start your aws journey and which certification should be right for you and how you should start which all resources uh, you should consider and how finally you can give and pass your aws certification exam okay so i have made a dedicated video why like you should choose aws as your cloud partner and uh, if you haven't watched that video i suggest you to click on the i button above and uh, through that you can watch this video now like once you have decided that you want to go with aws so there are a couple of certifications uh, which are available but in this video um, like i'll be covering how as a tester you should approach um, your certification okay and uh, whether like let me show you on this website that what all certifications are available so if you go to this aws website so here like uh, we start with uh, fundamental foundational like cloud practitioner foundational level okay and uh, after that like everything diverge so if you want uh, like i'm sure you won't be going for the developer version and most of the guys go for this like solution architect associate and uh, like this is the certification which i have also done and i can guide you on this part that how like firstly you should uh, focus on this part like cloud practitioner foundational okay this is of 100 dollars and with gst it comes around 118 dollars and you can convert it accordingly how much it will cost you in rupees okay. so the um, foundational that is the crowd practitioner one is uh, sim comparatively easy okay because this is foundational and uh, after that you can go to solution architect associate uh, in short saa okay so like if you have zero idea about uh, cloud and everything so like within one month you can easily get the certification okay and uh, regarding this i think 3 months is more than enough for you to crack the certification now how to prepare once you have made up your mind that okay like i want to get this certification then how to prepare and uh, what all resources you should consider so i suggest you like in this stephen marik okay i'll also link down the course in the description box you can check out from there and i have taken this uh, certified solution architect associate course of stephen marik and i felt it was it was good like he covers almost like 95% of the syllabus because the syllabus is so vast that uh, like there are more than 100 aws services okay so in the cloud practitioner one first let's see that what is the difference between both these exams so in the cloud practitioner one uh, what aws expect you is that you should know what each service is actually doing okay if you have an ec2 so what does ec2 do and what kind of instances are there if you have s3 bucket so what are different flavors of s3 bucket that are available different pricing models and uh, that's it like couple of different services independently they don't expect you to uh, like know how things are interrelated and coming to this soft, uh, solution architect associate exam in this like they expect you uh, how two to three services are interdependent on each other so the questions will be framed in such a way that uh, you should have an uh, thorough understanding of each and every service and how they are interrelated so let's say like i'll give you an example that uh, if you have uh, this web application firewall so can you like install this waf on an easy to 
and the question won't be direct so they must like they will be giving you a scenario and in that like there are four options you have to select the best option out of those four and in some cases like there are five options and you have to select two options out of those five okay so in this video we will not discuss like uh, the about the exam pattern and everything but how like you should prepare and uh, this Stephen Marik course is more than enough for you to cover each and everything like for uh, for the cloud practitioner one also and for the this other one also okay and uh, like what I used to do is that I have made some notes and probably in some other video I can discuss about uh, how I made notes so again the three iteration iteration theory which I uh, generally discuss in the first, first iteration so this is uh, how you are going to watch the videos and prepare from it so in the like there are certain sections okay so initially they will start with i am groups policy so this is section one then they will jump to ec2 after that auto scaling groups and security groups and like that okay so you will get 9 to 10 videos on the section 1 and probably 15 videos on the EC2 okay and accordingly so what you have to do is that first like in the first iteration just watch it like a movie okay don't you just try to understand what you can uh, understand like what is an IAM group what is a group policy don't stress your mind just uh, try to like remember what each and every services is doing okay and this one is i'm talking about like both the exams because uh, this is pretty much common so in the cloud practitioner one uh, also they will expect you like what an IAM policy is and how can you deploy it uh, and which services okay so all that so once you watch a video of a section okay like first time just watch it and watch the entire syllabus in one go okay so that you have an basic understanding of what each and every service is doing in the second iteration make notes okay so when you will start over in the second iteration so this is the second iteration in which make some short notes that will help you when you will attempt your mock test okay and once you have done your second iteration so this was first iteration this was second iteration so after uh, you are done with uh, second iteration and uh, like the second iteration will be the longest and it will take you 1 to 1.5 months to watch all the videos and uh, and make notes and this is considering that you spend at least uh, like at least two hours daily okay no this is like enough if you spend one hour daily only um, in that way also like you can cover uh, in one to 1 1.5 months and in the weekends on the weekends uh, like spend two to three hours okay just try to revise whatever you have learnt it and in the third one uh, attempt mock test and we will discuss more in this part that how you should attempt the mock test so if you purchase this Stephen Marik course so in that like you get one mock test free okay so that you can attempt after completing your second iteration and there is a course of Neil Davis like Neil uh, D-A-V-I-S Neil Davis mock test I will also link down the uh, video in my description box so you can check it out and you will get six mock test and the best part of these mock test is that you can re-attempt it and uh, it will show you how much you are scoring and how you are actually um, going okay so the like what uh, why i took the different course is that if you have learned from stephen marik so i thought 
like the mock test of Stephen will be kind of similar. So I just want to cross like Chris cross it so that uh, after attempting the Neil Davis uh, mock test, I can understand that okay, how much I understood of Stephen Marik and um, I hope there is anything like there shouldn't be anything that he missed out. Okay, and. The reason why I wrote 95% here is that like syllabus is so vast that you will you will experience one or two questions that you would have not read before or some services which you have not even heard of. Okay, so this will happen. But uh, like if you are so in like when I attempted the mock test, so in the initial time I was scoring 60% on all mock tests. In the second iteration, I jumped to 75%. Okay, so you have to reattempt the mock test. Uh, and uh, okay, so let's discuss the third iteration. So suppose that you have attempted your first mock test of uh, Neil Davis, and in that you have scored 60%. Okay, so whatever the answers which you have put wrong, or you must have put some guesses also. Okay, so there is no negative marking in AWS, so you will uh, like you have to guess, and that's the right approach. So whenever you are uh, like watching a question, just see the different answers. So let's say if there are four options, then I'm sure you can like knock out these two answers because that will be like after. Um, reading everything you will be confused like most of the time you will be confused in uh, two options so they are in the explanation so the best part of the Neil Davis course is that uh, they have explained each and every option so if this is wrong they will explain you why this is not possible why this is not possible and most of the time you will be confused in uh, two options so there also they will give explanation that why this is not the be best option okay so that's why I like uh, I like the mock test and after attempting let's say you have done your first mock test you scored 60% in your second mock test you have attempt 62% in your third mock test it can happen that you score 55% because every mock test has this different difficulty level so after three mock tests I suggest you to go back to the first mock test and reattempt it and in that I'm sure you will score around 70 to 75 percent and don't just try to cram cram anything just like understand and try to be just like that you have uh, like you are sitting in an examination hall and attempting your question okay and one more thing guys uh, like I'll suggest you to attempt the mock test in one go and if uh, in one go it is not possible then at maximum two go like you can take a break in between but um, like not three or four breaks that you attempt 10 questions then take a break like go around and come back so that will not going to help you because in the examination you have to like uh, sit for one like two hours and 10 minutes so this is of 130 to 140 minutes like 10 minutes are given to read the instruction and everything and the actual duration is 130 to 140 minutes I'm not exactly sure what is the exact duration but it's pretty like uh, if you have if you're prepared then this this is more than enough I'm sure you will like end your uh, actual examination 10 to 20 minutes before if you are well prepared okay so that's it guys that was my approach and uh, again like the time required will be one month for this cloud practitioner one like from zero to hero like everything one month for the cloud practitioner one and three months for certified solution architect and like this is the same thing which was applicable to me and that's how i prepared and uh, i hope uh, guys this this much is enough to tell you that uh, this is more than enough okay and in case you still have any doubt, uh, just comment down below and I'll try to help you out. Okay. Uh, thank you guys.